Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, June 22nd of 2018. And uh, looking at my Roku TV, which has the screensaver on, it says that it is 11.33 a.m. here in Fort Worth. I haven't taken my morning medication yet, so I'm going to do that. And hope not to hit the microphone there. Wash it down with Coke. Used to be, as a grown man, I could not take pills. Thank God I. Uh, finally did whatever was necessary to be able to take pills. I can remember when I was a kid, I think maybe in kindergarten, being taken to the doctor, and the doctor gave me a pill or something, and I'm not sure if he put it in my mouth or if I, whatever, but I remember spitting it out. And he made me go and pick it up or whatever. That's not the reason I couldn't, but... Uh, I was a grown person because I remember getting prescriptions as a grown man and I'd have to have the doctor write it in uh, liquid form or something like that. And I'd go to the pharmacist and I'd say, you know, because of the dosage or whatever, is this for a child? No, it's for me. Now I can swallow pills. One of the things I was doing wrong was uh, putting a whole bunch of water into my mouth. And, of course, now I know that a small amount of water is better in order to get the pill down. I'm not sure if my, I was in kindergarten. I can remember uh, the landlady was a heavy set lady. Uh, and we, she rented out rooms in her house. And... Uh, for about a year or so, I went to kindergarten there, and then we then my parents purchased a house. But um, so I was in kindergarten to be about five years of age, and had to take pills. And my mother and the grand or the uh, landlady, Mrs. Hannah, uh, you know, put the pill in my mouth, cover my face, you know, cover my, <laughs> uh, like, landlady sat on me, and I just would not swallow the pill. Mrs. Hannah is the only person that I know of who died of lockjaw. Many, many years later, I was, I think, maybe grown by then. My mother kept in touch, and uh, she died of lockjaw. I guess if she'd had a tetanus shot, she wouldn't have died of lockjaw. She was, she raised worms. She did, not when we lived there, rented, but later, I guess, she raised worms, and that's probably, you know, raised them to be, I think, used as bait or something. I did not intend to talk on that subject, but that's what I did. Um, I put my Roku TV here, so I may move it. I, 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 it's up and down, and a lot of times I don't, but right now it's sitting on my desk over here. I'm touching it right now. I think I can give you a little tiny corner view of it or something. There it is, kind of dusty, isn't it? A couple other monitors sitting on the floor. And there are other monitors also around here. Still using my uh, LG Extra Wide monitor. I can't remember if it's 27 inch now or 29 inch. But as you know, I change things all the time. I haven't hooked up the, uh, I 
I haven't hooked up this cam like last video I said I was going to hook this back up, but I haven't done that yet. Got a lot of stuff I need to do. And, uh, and I told you the last video, in fact, I think I showed you, I did, I showed you a picture of it. I'm now on, uh, everybody in the house is on Wi-Fi because I moved the cable modem and the router out of here and the voice over IP stuff for the phone service. It's all the way in the living room. I'm in the master bedroom at the other end of this apartment. Uh, let's see what kind of speed we're getting. Uh, hooked to Ethernet cable, I'd be getting about 60 down. Oops. Probably get about 30 down now. And uh, get about 30 down and 5 up. If I was... Uh, had the Ethernet cable hooked up, I'd be getting about 60 down and 5 up. But I don't have that cable running across my floor now, and I don't have those things in there. And uh, I sure would like to get faster Internet service, but I'm paying $70 a month for this from uh, Charter. Or Spectrum, I guess, or Spectrum now. And uh, for $70 a month, all I'm getting is internet service. And they offer 100 down and 5 up. But you have to take their cable television in order to get that. So, but this is okay. Uh, let's see. Um. I have an Android cell phone. It's blue. B-L-U, that's the... Uh, I have tried uh, just about every... Um, because I like to play with things, I've tried just about every launcher. And a ton of them are good. I've paid for a bunch of the launchers also. Right now, I'm, I would. I, this is one I just... Uh, Microsoft launcher. I just wouldn't have thought of... Uh, but it was recommended someplace. It was on Twit TV. They were talking about it uh, on uh, Windows Weekly or whatever they call that that show. And uh, so I gave it a try, and I really like it. Uh, so I think that's probably this may be. Well, knowing me though, I will. Uh, I'm always changing stuff around, but I I like it a lot. And I just may stick with it. But there are a lot of good uh, launchers out there for Android. Tons of them. And I've paid for all the major ones that uh, charge, you know, a small fee. I've paid the uh, paid the fee. Well, I see it shows here that it, this is installed. This is on my Windows 10 computer. So if I did launchers, I wonder if it... Uh, Oh, okay, I can show my apps. Okay. These are the uh, things that I have, that I am using, or that I have, well, they're things that I've, I don't, I haven't paid for all of these. Um, I used ADW, ADW Launcher 2. It's very good. I don't know if that's one that I paid for or not. Can't remember if it was. Uh, okay, I think the Dolphin browser came installed a few times. I use Echolink. That's a ham radio. And uh, LastPass. I'm not sure I want it. I have it on my uh, Android phone, but it pops up sometimes at an inconvenient time, and so I'm not sure. Uh, scanner radio. Well, this says Pro, so I paid for it, but I'm not using it. Sky Map, I forget which I'm using. Uh, AD, 
let's see, ADW. Okay, so I did pay for it because here's the, uh, I think the pro version, maybe. Not sure if you can hear the aircraft or not, fighter aircraft. Uh, where you live close to what used to be Carswell Air Force Base, and now it's, I don't know, Fort Worth uh, Naval Reserve Station or something like that. Uh, see, a ton of these things I just put on and then took off almost immediately, but they still show up here as my apps or that I own, but I, I don't have all these, of course, installed. On uh, There's another launcher, Go Launcher, that I tried. Uh, Scott Trade was a uh, stock trading site that I used, but I don't use them anymore. Wells Fargo Bank. Uh, APRS is another ham radio application that uh, that I use. I can send my um, go here to the last. Here are weather and on the last screen weather and ham radio apps and if I hit uh, APRS droid drone and start tracking it's now sending my location out onto you know ham radio APRS sites and while I'm doing that I'm now I'm doing it using the cell phone, but you have to be a amateur radio operator because it's going into radio and being retransmitted and and uh, what have you. But um, I could do the same thing with an, one of my amateur radio uh, handy talkies or whatever. Actually, I don't have. I have two handy talkies at this time, and neither one of them does APRS. If I I've had them in the past, Kenwoods that did APRS. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see my ham radio. I see the charger for it, but don't see it. Uh, do you like this new shirt? A long time ago, I said, uh, I'm going to put stop transmitting here. Actually, stop sending. Long, many years ago, or whatever, I said, you know, hey, send me an extra large t shirt, a new one. Um, and for your group or whatever, as long as it wasn't the Klan or uh, Make America Great. I did, of course, I, <laughs> this is years ago, so it wasn't any Make America, but. Uh, you know, send it to me, I'll wear it and show it and tell people uh, who sent it to me with a link to your group. And then also what I would do is, you know, go to your site or whatever and cut and paste some information about your school or church or whatever it is. Nobody ever bothered to send me a, a shirt, so... This is a local, um, I think it's an art, is it Fort Worth Art Festival? They have once a year. I didn't go, I just ordered it from their site. $20, I think uh, I had to pay tax, but they didn't charge for uh, shipping. And then I, I ordered one shirt. They didn't send it for a while. Then I ordered it, decided to get another shirt. And then they immediately uh, sent me a notice that they were shipping the shirts. They shipped them at the same time. But uh, two separate by email in an envelope. Of course, the, you know, not a number 10 envelope, but a little post office thing. Uh, 
one in each sack. That they had to pay six fifty for shipping for the uh, each shirt. I uh, I guess they couldn't get them into one bag, but they seemed like they should have uh, cut down their shipping somehow. International Space Station detector. I have that on there. I you may have seen a video where I went out and tried to. Uh, show you on a visible pass when the space station goes over. I think I actually need somebody to help me. <laughs> we need to be tracking it and then trying to use the camera on a tripod. It'd be very difficult to do, to show it on the camera. But what I also uh, want to do is have the audio going with it as it passes over the beacon or whatever is going. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going to try that one of these times. This IRLF or IRLP is a uh, list of ham repeaters or whatever. I used to have Virgin Mobile Service, so this is on here. I wonder if there's some way to look to, but take this crap off. Uh, YMCA of Fort Worth or whatever. I only used it for. Uh, few days. Should be some way to uh, remove this this crap. Anyway, I'm using the Microsoft launcher and I like it for my Android. I have though been using a lot of power and I don't usually have but I may have had something running in the background or something. Uh, there was something I wanted to mention. Now I can't remember what it was. I, th I think it might have been about the news. CNN. I don't even want to get into this, all of this. It's just so depressing. You know, when Obama was elected president, I told myself, you know, hey, the first president that I voted for was John F. Kennedy, the first Catholic president. And I had to vote by absentee ballot. I was in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, actually Euclid, Ohio, at the Lincoln Electric Company going to welding school. So, and I, my home state was Missouri, so I voted for John F. Kennedy by absentee ballot. And then, uh, so I was thinking when Obama got elected, I thought, uh, well, the last president that I voted for uh, will be, you know, John, or will be uh, Obama, you know, the first black president. My health has been, on the one hand, I don't know, I've, there's a lot of people worse off, but I wasn't sure I was going to live out, uh, you know, through the Obama presidency. Here I am later. And so I was thinking, I can't say I voted for the first Catholic president and the first black president and then passed away or whatever. Anyway, I can say I was born during the presidency of Franklin D. Roosevelt, one of the, the five greatest presidents of all time. And now, we have the worst president of all time, Donald Trump. And uh, so from one of the five best presidents to the worst, and I have been alive. Of course, I do not remember Franklin D. Roosevelt. 
Uh, I do remember Harry Truman. Uh, I would like to forget uh, Donald Trump, but honest to God, I thought I had a reason to do of this video. Actually, I tried to do uh, live streaming, and it wouldn't work for me. I was, I've you, I've done live streaming in the past, but every time I start it up, although it depends, you know, it depends on how I what I'm using. I can just go to YouTube and click, you know, live streaming, and it will that will live stream. But uh, if I want to do, you know, the desktop and stuff like that, so. So what else do I have to tell you here? Um, thinking about a new computer, but I don't know. Thinking about a new mouse, which I positively do not need. I, I do need a new computer, more powerful computer, because of uh, compiling. I very rarely edit a video, but if I do try, you know, and... Uh, everything but I don't need a new mouse this is the Logitech 9 oh, let's see 502 but they have a new one out that uh, wireless and did I just belch when I said wireless I'm not sure if you it's wireless and it's uh, well let's go it What do I want? Amazon. Come on, I know I saw Amazon. No, Amazon. It's uh, wireless, and you can charge it with. Uh, a pad. So you have your mouse on the pad. Let's go down to it here. Okay, here it is. The now you can buy it as well. Let's go here. It's a Logitech G903. It's a wireless mouse. And if you just buy the mouse, you know you can when you need to charge it up, you can plug it into the cable or whatever. But you can also purchase, which is about a hundred dollars. Uh, let's see if they start show you just a pad. Yeah, here it is here. See, the pad is $99. But it does, I think, with three different pads that you can, uh, you know, use. Pick out the one you want to use. One uh, regular, whatever that would be, mouse surface, and then a stick one and hard one or whatever it is. But... I'm thinking about getting the 903, but you know, I, I really don't need it. I get my wired. And very rarely do I have a wire, you know, the wire get hooked up or anything like that. So let's go back to where the list is. Wait a minute here. Let me give you an idea of. I'm, as you know, in fact, I even. I'm really interested in the, uh, what is it, the pen, what do they call the pen? I'm interested in the Samsung uh, cell phone that uses the S Pen or with the Galaxy Tab S3 tablet that uses the, the pen. And I know in several of you, several of you have commented that, you know, hey, Jim, you'll never use the pen. And I know you're right, but I still, I still want it. So I'm thinking about getting the Galaxy tab, tablet. Um, also thinking about getting a refrigerator, a small refrigerator for this room. Of course, what I need is to get exercise, and what I'm trying to do now is 
cut out having to go to all the way to the to the uh, kitchen to get a coal can of Coca Cola Zero. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, it says zero underneath it. Okay, I was gonna say. I'm not sure if this is the uh, computer that I want to get. There's that mouse again. Uh, this, I'm not sure we'd call it Wise or whatever. I heard it reviewed on Tech TV. Uh, and actually, I don't really need it. In fact, I probably got a couple sitting around here. Not of this particular kind. But I think I'm going to send it to one of my uh, children. Just send it. Because uh, they pro they would never purchase it. But uh, I'd like to have the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 cell phone. And you may remember, I what was it, the 7 or the 6 or something that I ordered? And uh, it came, it was supposed to be unlocked, but it was tied in with a provider that I'm not using. It worked, but it had, it popped up things for the other, which, and those things didn't work. And so I returned it. But I'd like to have the Note 8, the, you know, the latest one. Uh, for, for years now, I, I've got a twin bed that I sleep on and the uh, bed frame for it. Uh, it sticks out, the metal sticks out on each end way too far. I think it was actually designed that you could put a bed, a bed board, a uh, headboard or something, but on all four sides, of course, one side's against the wall usually and I don't know how many times I have hit my foot on those metal brackets that are sticking out. And when you have diabetes type 2 and when you don't have good circulation, uh, you don't need any dings or bangs to, you know, to your feet or your legs. So I ordered this mattress for my, uh, or my uh, bed frame for my son, and it's okay. It's a good one, so when I get around to it, I'm going to order this for myself. And the other one is okay, but I'm just going to throw it away uh, because I just don't need a gash on my foot or something that's going to get infected and end up having my foot or leg or something cut off. So when I get around, I'm going to order this. Uh, my grandson is really into computers, and but all he's interested in is, well, he works full time, and uh, but he, all he's interested in is computers, and I'd like to, you know, like ask him, I have in the past, and he's just too busy to, you know, and then when I buy it, he'll say, oh. You know, you should have got such other thing. Anyway, after I got my new extra wide monitor, which I think is 27 or 29, the wide that I'm using now, he says, you know, you should have got the 34 inch. And he's correct. I should have. For a long time before I was, you know, looking at them both. And then when it came down to it, I just went ahead and ordered the whichever this one is. Here's that pad. Oh, here's the pad and the mouse. So, all together $209. This is the, well, this is the brand of the cable modem that we're using. I'm not sure if this offers any advantage. We don't need it right now, but I sure don't need any more microphones. This is a new ham radio I'm thinking about, but the only th this is about four hundred and thirty dollars. 
and it's nice. But there's a Kenwood that is, and I had the older version of it. There's a Kenwood that is a hundred or hundred and fifty dollars more. I think it's maybe about a hundred dollars more. And if I'm going to get this at four thirty, I'd rather pay the extra hundred and get the the Kenwood. So it's on my list, but I'm not sure when I'll get around to it. By the way, I um, wonder if I can pull up. Coming up, today is the 22nd. Let's see. Radio Day. Once a year, Hampshire radio operators, ham radio operators, um, all across the United States. It's going to be June 23rd and 24th. Set up at parks or fields or wherever they can go their equipment and they operate uh, starting on June 23rd all the way through to June 24th and there'll be they put up their own antennas they have gasoline generators they have solar power that somebody may have wind power uh, they'll set up a whole bunch of different stations there and um, they communicate with each other with other hams around the world and uh, keep score who makes it and uh, I think depending on the size of the club or whatever uh, they'll even have satellite communications ham radio operators working through uh, the International Space Station or working through ham satellites that are up in space and there are a whole bunch of them up in space um, if you go to this site, by the way, ARRL.org and slash field day, field with a dash and then day, uh, you can find out the location nearest you. And all of them, all the clubs um, would like for you, you know, if you're in the area to come on out and visit with them and see their equipment, they'll let you sit down and operate one of the ham radios. The licensed operator has to be there, you know, with you uh, in order for you to do that. But they'll let you, you know, try it out and talk to you and you'll be able to see. They may have other events, other things happening too. Uh, so please check it out June 23rd or June 24th uh, let me just as a sample here let's see now where in the heck is the map here what is field day here's a by the way I'm using edge now and edge is very good at uh, reading PDF files it says here uh, ARRL by the way is American Radio Relay League a, the national organization for amateur radio operators ARRL Field Day is a single most popular on the air event held annually in the US and Canada on the fourth weekend of June of each year more than 35,000 amateur radio uh, operators gather with their clubs, groups, or simply with friends to operate from remote locations. Field day is a picnic, a camp out, practice for emergencies, informal contests, and lots more of fun. Um, oh, by the way, have you tried if you use Edge What is ARRL Field Day? ARRL Field Day is the single most popular on the air event held annually in the US and Canada. On the fourth weekend of June of each year, more than 35,000 radio amateurs gather with their clubs, groups, or simply with friends to operate from remote locations. 
Field day is a picnic, a camp out, practice for emergencies, an informal contest and, most of all, fun. It is a time where many aspects of amateur radio come together to highlight our many roles. While some will treat it as a contest, other groups use the opportunity to practice their emergency response capabilities. It is an excellent opportunity to demonstrate amateur radio to the organizations that amateur radio might serve in an emergency, as well as the general public. For many clubs, ARRL Field Day is one of the highlights of their annual calendar. The contest part is... Uh, reason I had to close it, I, I, can't, I haven't figured out how to stop it once it starts reading. I need to look that up. By the way, uh, something new. Let me close this. Or not close it, but minimize it. And this over here. And go to full screen. How's that? But that's not what I wanted to show you. Oh, no, I threw it away. It's uh, the Windows key. If you're running Windows 10, let me see if I can remember. Maybe, maybe bring that back. But put it over back where it should be. If you hit the Windows key and the tab key, I think it is. Was it the tab? Where in the heck is the tab key? There you go. Um, you get, I guess, a timeline. I think they call it a timeline. And you can see what you've been working on, what you've looked up, and you can actually click on it and uh, go back to where you were. And uh, pretty neat. I, I better write that down again. The win key plus tab. Pretty neat. That's with Windows 10. And I'm not sure when... Um, I'm not sure what, what version it is with. But I think you probably have it because I'm not using now any uh, of the new advanced, whatever they call it, you know. Let's see here, which Windows Update and Security. Check for updates. No, I want to uh, view update history. That's what I want to see. See, I'm using version 1803. That's a uh, feature update, and uh, I think it came out about uh, a, a month ago. So you probably have it, and might want to check it out. Okay, I think that's it. I've done enough damage that I, c I can't do any more damage, I guess. Well, I could. I'm sure glad I didn't get into politics except for just a little tiny bit. Thank you very much for watching.